Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week and this week's Fool is Business Minister Paul Scully. Now Paul was interviewed on LBC by Nick Ferrari. I'm not a huge fan of Nick Ferrari but from time to time he asks the right questions and this time he definitely asked the right questions. Now Paul Scully was asked about uh, a scheme that's going to create jobs and he was asked a very simple question. How much money is available? And, well, Paul struggled a bit. How much is in the kitty? Well, it's, as I say, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's there for, um, uh, for employers to take up. They've been paying into the apprenticeship levy, the, some of the bigger companies. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we just get as many employers to, to take right. this up as possible. I, I probably misphrased the question. How much is the total funding for this? Well, the, the, the funding, as I say, uh, is 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 um, uh, is just it's not open ended, but we want to make sure that we can get as many employers to take this up as possible. So, uh, so so it's 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 three thousand pounds for each. Uh, no, I've got I've, I've got each that. thing, but I don't I don't have the I don't have the I don't have the um, the top the overall funding package. Okay, <laughs> normally when you have a new initiative, you have a new project, you have this scheme, you allocate funding. And then you distribute the funding according to need. Or you say, look, we put aside 10 million pounds and we divide it up amongst businesses that come forward asking for this boost. You don't say we're going to give 3000 pounds to each new apprentice and then sort out the budget. That's insane. Uh, details for it, why, but why what, what I do have is the uh, what I do have is the minister. Why don't you have for, the details? Uh, because, as I say, what I'm do, what we're trying to do today is to encourage employers to take up so more, it's a bottomless um, pot, uh, more, it? more apprentices. It's a bottomless pot of cash. Well, effectively, no, no, effectively, what did it? No, what it is? It's it. <laughs> of course, it's bottomless if you don't have a budget. Like, how are you supposed to know how much you're going to give to people if you don't actually have a budget? Just think about this for a moment. You want to distribute money to businesses uh, to hire new apprentices. You have to allocate funding. You, this is the minister. He has to go to the chancellor of the exchequer and say, look, I want this amount of money in order to provide this service. Or he has to find the money within his existing budget. That's how it works. You don't just pick a number, a random number, and say, we're going to give this to businesses, and then what? As they come along, when are you going to stop it? You're going to stop it after a number have applied? Then it's very simple. If you say 10,000 employees, then you just multiply it by 3,000 pounds. What is the criteria here? How are these people chosen to do their job? Look, if he said... We don't have the full details yet. We're planning to perhaps go with £3,000. Then I could understand. But he said, we're going to give £3,000. We want businesses to come forward, but we don't actually have a budget. Comes out of the uh, the apprenticeship levy that the businesses have been paying in uh, to this. Right. Um, we want to make sure that it gets used as as um, uh, as well as possible, as effectively as possible, and especially for the smaller businesses who don't come into that, uh, uh, to, d who don't come into that um, uh, uh, the levy um, uh, area that they haven't been paying the levy. So we what we want to make. Sure I'm sorry. Does anyone understand what he's talking about? Because I, all I'm hearing is words. I'm not actually hearing any coherent argument here. I'm just hearing word salad. I'm not actually understanding what the hell he's talking about. Sure, as, as many employers can can realise that apprentices is a really good way into employment because 93% of those... Um... Okay, the, yes, it is. It is a good way of getting into employment. But that's not the problem here. The problem is, do you have a budget and how much is it? Right. Apprentices tend to go on to okay. uh, training or or, in, in, or stay within way. employment, and that's okay. a really good thing. Let's try this a different way. What is the total cost to taxpayers? What could it be of this scheme? One billion. I don't have that. I don't have. The, I don't have that sum for you, Nick, at the moment. This is you know. But, but it's, respectfully, so, but, you are the small business minister. Your job today is to tell everybody 
what your government believes in this, and you have no yeah, what idea I'm, what whether I'm, this is going to no, cost what I'm, what I'm one million. To no, perhaps I can finish. You've no yeah. idea whether this is going to cost one million pounds, ten million pounds, one hundred million pounds, five hundred million pounds, a billion pounds. You've no idea. So you're handing out three thousand pounds of my listeners' money per apprentice, and good luck to the men and women who get it. But you've no idea the total cost. I find that extraordinary, Minister. Do you? Uh, well, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a shame that I haven't got it. But for you, <laughs> it's a shame that I haven't got it. Really, these things start at the top. They start off, okay, we have this idea. Let's allocate funding to it. Let's allocate a billion pounds to it. And then we're going to divide it out amongst businesses. Maybe we can say you can apply for one apprentice per business or five, five apprentices per business. But you start off with your funding. You don't start off with the number. Once again, how do these people get their job? Remember, the business secretary is earning over £80,000 a year. And he doesn't know how to organise a budget. You Surely you have these numbers sorted out first. And then you go on TV or on the radio and you say, this is what we're going to do. Is he unprepared or is he incompetent? I'll see you next week for another Fool of the Week. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?